Hey everyone, it's Fanola Howard and this is Ask Fanola How and we are now at episode 49 in the middle of the summer, no less. So episode 49 and a wonderful question, real entrepreneurs, real questions, good stuff. So question today is, where should I focus my marketing efforts during the summer? And do you have any tips on how to beat the summer slowdown and not lose the momentum you've already built? So kind of understandable this question because on one side, we're trying to make sure that we don't burn out, that we're looking after ourselves. And at the other side, on the other side, we don't want to stop. And then we, you know, plan, which we did a few weeks ago, we actually talked about how to plan for the summer when you're on actual holidays. But this question today is about, say you're back from holidays or you're working during the summer months when everybody else is off, you know? And I mean, like people are going, your clients are going at different times. So there is a, a, there's a natural lull often in the summer periods. So that's why this is a particularly good question because what do you do in those times? And also what do you do in those times that you're not using a kind of lower level of resources that you would have normally? So where can you invest? And specifically in your marketing, obviously, because this is what we're talking about here. So this is a great question, okay? So I was thinking about this. And the first thing I automatically want to do was to make sure that you actually took time for yourself for the summer because this this downtime, this time to pause is just so important and so pivotal for your growth. And it's interesting because I did um, a real like a couple of days ago on my own personal Instagram um, uh, profile. And I got so many con uh, so many comments or contacts from people saying, you look so relaxed. And I'm like, well, yeah, because <laughs> a really good summer and a really good break. And just the break helps you kind of return to yourself, kind of look at things with new eyes, you know, seeing if you need a little tweak here or a pivot there, or just kind of, Finding that breath to relax into who you are and where you want to go without struggle. And I'm kind of really feeling this because I did a, I started back to my uh, swimming classes during the week on Monday nights. And you know me, I'm learning something, even these small things every single time. And the piece of advice that I got was, I was told, yeah, you're great. You're doing a great glide in your stroke, but under the water, relax. You know, it's so interesting because you think you have to go, ooh, ooh, you know, and attack the water. And I was told, relax your shoulders, Fanola, and just you really will glide. So this is that kind of time to relax into things and look at stuff. OK, so some practice. So apart from that kind of nice self-care stuff, which I'm really, really want to bring home to you really quite strongly. The other side of that is some practical stuff. Right. So I made a little list for you. OK, so this is a beautiful time for planning for something you're launching later. And often, and I hear this from a lot of people, people may be launching courses in September or launching programs in September. You may even be thinking about something that's going on in October, November, and even as far as Christmas. This is a great time in this quiet zone, in this space to really plan a launch. It's a perfect time for planning a launch. So. This is what I do then. I would actually sit and think, what are the dates for my launch? What I want to do here? What am I trying? Who am I trying to reach? And really looking at mapping out exactly what you need to do to get this launch off the ground, because there's so many moving parts. And invariably, my experience of working with, of coming across so many entrepreneurs is there's always a piece of that launch plan that just isn't quite right because they ran out of time. This is the time to do that. And this is the time to look at things like, you know, have you got a really good flow of a batch of social media content that builds up to this launch you're doing? Have you got your testimonials in place? Do you need to ask for more? Ask for them now. Have you got really good blog posts so that you're kind of setting the scene for the space you want to own for this launch? Have you got a checklist for your launch plan? If you want a checklist for your launch plan, DM me and I'll send you a checklist because It'll be great. It'll help you. Checklists are great because you can take them off. And when I'm doing a launch plan, I'm taking off the stuff all the time. You know, even down to things like the headers and footers that appear on your social media. So people know what you're actually 
providing for them at this period. So this is the perfect time to plan a campaign, a launch, something like that. So take the time, relax into it, look at your checklist, pick everything off when you have the time to pick it off. And the time, the things that are lost most in launch plans is that point of conversion. This is the time to do that now in kind of emails, landing pages, stuff like that. Another one that you could really look at at this time is lead magnets. Are your lead magnets working? When you have a checklist or a guide or something like that on your website and maybe you promote it through your socials, maybe you have ad campaigns running from it, are they actually converting? Question number one. The second thing is, are they actually converting the right audience for you? There's no point in you growing your email list if it's an email list of the wrong people. So look at those Look at those lead magnets. First, are they doing anything for you? Because maybe you need to kind of just throw it all out and start again. And the second thing is really look at how this could be better and much more focused on your target customer. Have you spent the time doing your customer profile, kind of writing as much as you can about them to extract these beautiful, this language that your customer uses to reach you, to find an answer to their problem, because that's the language you need to reflect back to them. That's what going is it connecting. Because sometimes when you're in a hurry to do things, you'll miss the piece that makes the difference. And the piece often that makes the difference is targeting the right customer with the right language. Hey, I had to move, sorry, apologies for that. So I had to switch my internet because something happened with my mobile. Uh, anyway. And I moved position so you can actually see all the lovely greenery behind me. So that's also really good. Okay, so where was I? Checking your lead magnets, making sure you're targeting the right audience with the right offer. And it's actually making sure that you connect with that audience in the right way, you know. So does your lead magnet effectively uh, qualify that audience for you, you know? So, okay, we've done lead magnets. The next beautiful thing that you can do at this time of the year is to batch content because this is the the thing that you will have heard most about that will help your uh, marketing process run in place and everyone talks about oh batching saves you time batching saves you time but so often i hear from people saying i don't have time to batch i can't even start the process so in the summer months when it's quieter take one piece of the puzzle because there are many layers to your marketing messaging but even if you did a batch today or this week of, you know, I'm gonna spend, today I'm gonna to spend two hours just doing inspirational quotes based on insights that I've shared with my customers in my sessions with them. So if there are insights that come from you, because they're fresh and you can relate to them and they mean something to your customers and they already work because they resonated, batch doing those. And when, and the whole essence of batching is about this idea of not context switching. So not switching from doing one here and doing something else another day and something else another day. So today do quotes, tomorrow do your testimonials, next week do trends, another week do whatever it is. So batch, and you don't have to do it all in one go. You can just do one batch today. And then if you have another kind of lull because it's the summer months, batch a different thing next time. And create this space for when you get really busy that you have a better flow for how you work, a better impact with your marketing because you have space for engagement instead of trying to fill these holes with content. So you get a better groove on. And I always like a better groove. So, okay, another thing that you can, <laughs> batch the batch, I love that, Sally. So the other thing, as I look at my list of things to do, this is the perfect time to look at your website, to look at your SEO to actually face, this is lovely because when I did an interview with Amanda Grace during the week, she talked about the truth of things and like the truth will set you free. You kind of have to look at your analytics for your website. So is anyone coming to your website? What pages are they coming to? Like what can you, what are the clues that tell you what's working on your website? So there could be two, so first of all, is it working at all? And what are the pages that are you getting the most traffic from? So are there two or three pages? Like it could be a blog post, it could be a landing page. Is there something there that's really working for you? 
but you know it's a little out of date, you know you could be doing more with. In fact, you could update it, you could attach a lead magnet to it and drive even more traffic to it. This is the time to start to face the truth of the, your own analytics for your own website, because this is the home of your marketing, the home of your brand, your identity, this core place that's not reliant on algorithms and someone else's choice of what's seen. When you bring your customer to your website, it's an invitation into your home, the home of your business. So make sure it resonates. Make sure you're not offering coffee when they want tea. You understand what I mean? Great book around this, They Ask You Answer by Marcus Sheridan. I recommend it to all my clients. Read that, look at your website, pick something off. Even one thing a week, look at your website. It will make the difference when you start to get really busy later in the year and you'll wish you have do had done it, okay? As I said, I have lots of things you could do, but anyway. Uh, also, <laughs> a great thing you can do in the summer months is take a course. I'm taking a course right now. I'm actually taking a course, believe it or not, in visibility with Lisa Johnson. And I'm just loving it. I mean, the stuff there that I know because I teach it, but there's things that are going, that are saying to me, oh yeah, that's great. I need to do more of that. That's really great. So take a course. And of course, we have a wonderful course called Get Strategic, Get Results that you can take yourself today, or you can wait and have a guided route with me in September. But I always kind of recommend have a poke around at it now. And there's a link in the bio, okay? So perfect time to skill up on something because you're in a headspace where you're a bit more relaxed and you can learn and all these things. So do that then. And lastly, kind of enjoy the break, you know, enjoy it being a little bit slower because too often we're in this frenetic pace in our businesses all the time. That it's good to relax, drop the shoulders, chill. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Ask Fidola How, because I did, because I'm much more chilled <laughs> from having been on holidays. Have a great day. If you have any questions, ask, DM me. I love to explore them in these weekly sessions. Take care and have a great day.